Hi, my name is JP. In this video, I want to walk you through some of the dimensioning options that AutoCAD Mechanical supports. Let's begin by inserting a linear dimension for this edge. Did you notice how the color changes and the dimension snaps into place just at the right distance? This feature is called Distance Snap. The snapping distance is controlled by the drafting standard I selected at the time I created this drawing. Let me add another dimension and show you something more. Distance Snap suggests that I place a dimension on top of the previous dimension. But just see what happens when I do so. Let's explore further and create some baseline dimensions. I click multiple dimension from the ribbon and I inspect the options to make sure that I am creating the correct dimension type. I then window select the bushing and press enter. I select this point for the first extension line and I move the pointer until the preview shows me horizontal linear dimensions. I click the mouse only when distance snap kicks in. The next thing to do is clean up the dimensions. I will start by creating breaks in the extension lines of this dimension. I click break from the ribbon and choose which dimension to break. I then press enter to make AutoCAD Mechanical detect the crossing points automatically. And what do we have? Three neat breaks. Next, I will delete the unwanted dimensions. I select the power erase command from the ribbon and I choose what dimensions to delete. When I am done, I press enter. See how the remaining dimensions automatically adjust themselves to eliminate the gaps. What's more, look at the dimension break. That too has moved with the crossing point. Let's move on. I will now show you how to create a chain dimension. I click power dimension from the ribbon and choose the chain option from the command line. I select the 13 mm dimension as the base dimension and I click the furthest endpoint of the bushing. I then click this button to flag this dimension as a reference dimension. I then close the editor and press escape to terminate the dimensioning session. Let's look at something else now. Let me show you how to add fit information to a dimension. I double click the 12 mm dimension to start the dimension editor. I turn on fits by clicking this button. But wait a minute. This fit symbol is not right for a hole. So I display the fit dialog box and specify that this is a fit for a hole and not a shaft. I repeat this for the 40 mm dimension. I then clean up the crossing extension lines. I will now go one step further and create a fits list. I click fits list on the ribbon and choose the new option from the command line. When I place the fits list in the drawing, AutoCAD Mechanical scans the drawing and lists all the fits it finds within the drawing border containing the fits list. Let me add a few more dimensions and show you what happens to the fits list. I use the multiple dimension command once again, but this time I choose the shaft symmetric option. I first select the objects to dimension, then the center line. When distance snap kicks in, I place the dimensions and quickly clean them up. Did you notice that these dimensions don't have fit information? So I will now go ahead and use the edit multiple command to add fits to both these dimensions in one go. Note that although I pick two dimensions for editing, the editor appears only on one of them. That's really no big deal. I add the fit information and when I close the editor, both dimensions are updated. I'm also prompted to update the fits list. Let's click yes and go and see what has happened to the fits list. And yes, it has updated. Finally, let me show you how to add a chamfer dimension. I click the chamfer dimension command from the ribbon and when I'm prompted to, I select the chamfer and the two lines surrounding it. In the dialog box, I click OK and I am done. There are many other things that you can do with power dimensions, 
but it is beyond the scope of a short video like this. However, you can get all the details you need from online help.